Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we would mix it up a little bit and do like a full week of dinner ideas for you guys that are quick, easy, and pretty healthy. I love the crock pot and the Instapot, so I thought this week we would go ahead and do crock pot recipes. If you guys watched my Sunday reset, you saw me grocery shop for these meals. So I'm gonna be recording our dinners every single night for five full meals to give you guys some inspiration for your dinners. These are all recipes that I found off of Pinterest, so I will have them linked down in my description so you guys can save them and make them for yourselves. But we're gonna go ahead and start with the first meal, which is one of my all-time favorite dinners, you guys. Every time I go to Olive Garden, I have to get the minestrone. It is so good, and it's so healthy and delicious. My entire family enjoys it. Of course, there's like a few veggies in there that they pick out for the most part, it gets them to eat pretty healthy. So we're gonna start off with a crock pot minestrone recipe. So this is everything you're gonna need to make your crock pot minestrone. Of course, I have my crock pot. And because we are a family of six, I am adding more ingredients than the recipe calls for, but that's only because we have a little bit larger family. <laughs> So for this recipe, we're gonna need one can of white beans, one can of kidney beans, one can of diced tomatoes, or if you don't want chunks, you can do tomato sauce or crushed tomatoes. We're gonna be using half a cup of this Ditalani noodles, these little tiny noodles. We need one pound of lean ground beef, one onion, it's supposed to be a zucchini, but I didn't have any on hand, so we're just gonna use a squash instead. You're gonna need some celery. I'm not a huge fan of celery, so I'm not using that much. Gonna need some carrots, some broth. I'm gonna be using chicken broth. I thought I had beef broth, but I'm out, so we're just gonna use what we have. So I'm gonna use some of this chicken broth. I'm gonna throw in some of these green beans. These are fresh green beans that I froze. So we're gonna be adding some of those into there. And as for seasonings, you're gonna need some Italian seasoning, pepper, garlic powder, salt, and onion powder. So that is everything you need. We're gonna start off first by grounding our beef. And while that's going, we're going to chop up our veggies. So you can either add your onion into your ground beef while it's cooking, or you can just throw it into your crock pot. It's just kind of preference. I think I'm gonna go ahead and brown mine with my meat, that way it gives it that really good flavor. Days without water and long sun so grown. We cross over borders to get where we are. And it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you. So once you have all your veggies cut up and thrown into the crock pot, your meat is cooked, you just combine everything else all together, put it on low. This cooks pretty quickly. You just have to wait for your veggies to soften up since your meat is already fully cooked. And then I like to add my green beans in about an hour before it's time to serve it. That way they get soft, but not too mushy. But of course you can add your green beans in at the exact same time if you don't mind if they get a little bit softer. So we're just gonna throw everything else into the pot and then it's gonna be ready to go for dinner time. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. Don't feel the cold 
And it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you I did it all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you It is a new day and tonight I think we're going to be making the ground beef ganache Gnocchi. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it looks really good. I thought it was a crock pot recipe. It's actually going to be a stovetop recipe, which I'm pretty sure you could make this a crock pot recipe too, but we're going to go ahead and get started on it. Ethan is napping. This is the first time he asked to sleep in the big boy bed. So he's actually sleeping on the bottom bunk right now. I am so shocked that he laid down and like didn't try to sneak out or anything. So we might be moving him to a big boy bed soon. I cannot believe it. <laughs> but since he's sleeping, I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner started. That way when it's done, it can just be setting on the stove because after school, it's so chaotic and crazy. I prefer to have dinner done ahead of time if I can, if I have the time. So we can just warm it up in the microwave when it's time to eat, but at least it'll be done and I can just like calmly do homework and not feel rushed to get dinner started so i'm going to show you guys what we need for this recipe you're going to need one pound of ground beef i'm using 93 percent lean you're going to need half of an onion this is a pretty small one so i'll probably use the whole onion there is the potato ganache we need one can of diced tomatoes plus the juices we need a third cup of chicken broth or beef broth. I only have chicken, so we're gonna use chicken. And then you're gonna need some heavy whipping cream. We're gonna be using 3 4 of a cup. We're gonna need a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. It says fresh, but this is what we got. So that's what we're using. And then for seasonings, we're gonna be using a little bit of Italian, some garlic powder, salt and pepper, and that is it. This is the first time I'm making it. So I'm excited to see how it turns out. So we're gonna start off with a big pan. This is my new caraway pans. Seriously, love these. So the first step is gonna be, we're gonna brown the ground beef with the onion all together. Now that the meat is fully cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and season it with the Italian garlic, salt, and pepper. And then basically we just add everything else into the pot until the ganache, ganache is fully cooked and then it's done. So we're gonna throw everything in there, bring it to a boil and then a simmer. And then we're just going to cover it and save it for later tonight. And I will definitely do like a taste test of all the kids and me to let you know what we all think about it since it is a new recipe. What do y'all think about dinner? I didn't even taste it yet. You didn't taste it yet? Is it good? I didn't taste it. No. No, you don't like it? No, I like no game. You don't like it? Yeah. I think it's delicious. Today I have another crock pot recipe for you guys. I love chicken chili. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you probably know this. I have made chicken chili numerous times, but this recipe is a little bit different than my last one. This one actually calls for cream cheese and I think that just sounds really good. So I'm excited to give this recipe a try and let you guys know what I think about it. It looks super simple. My kind of crock pot recipe. We're basically just dumping everything into the crock pot and turning it on either low for seven hours 
or high for four, which it's already one o'clock. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on high for today because I want it done for around five o'clock. But first I'm gonna show you guys what ingredients you're gonna need to make this chicken chili. And I'm gonna be doubling the recipe just because <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be enough as calls as it calls for. But like I stated before, I will have everything down in the description if you guys wanna check it out and get the right portion sizes for you. But for this recipe, we're gonna be using some frozen chicken breast. These are the chicken tenderloins. It calls for one pound. I'm gonna be doing all of this, which is probably around two or three pounds. And then we're also gonna need some chicken broth. I have this one, so I'm gonna be using this today. We're also going to need an onion, some fresh cilantro, so I picked some up, a thing of cream cheese, one lime. I'm gonna be using two cans of the Great Northern White Beans. I'm gonna be using one can of the diced green chilies. And then for seasonings, you're just gonna need chili powder, cumin, and oregano, and then of course some salt and pepper, which I'm gonna grab, but we're just going to take everything and dump it into the crock pot. Of course, we are gonna be draining and rinsing our beans. That will help with gas. <laughs> so we're gonna get this going. I was running round town in a city of gold when I was struck by luck as I found you sitting all alone, looking down your phone like a restless soul. Set in the air, and the sun was so most acting as a spotlight just for you, making flowers bloom. Days are made for you. You make me weak in the knees. I'm doubling you and me. So, darling. So it is now five o'clock. I just checked the chicken. It is fully cooked. So we're gonna go ahead, scoop out the chicken chunks and I'm gonna be using my um, KitchenAid to shred up the chicken. I love using my mixer to shred chicken. It's so fast and easy and I've just always hated shredding chicken. So definitely a great hack if you guys haven't tried a mixer. Use it to shred your chicken. It is life changing. <laughs> I understand that he is your man. You make me weak. So, taste test. I have my chili. Gonna try it out. It's really hot still. Well, we haven't did it. Chicken chili. Oh. Hmm. I don't want chicken chili, though. I want chili. Sorry about your look. Here you go. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. So I think it's really good, but I kind of wish I would have added a second thing of cream cheese in here just because I think it would have been more creamier, but I only had one thing of cream cheese left. So next time I think I would double it up, but it has a really good taste. I think it's really good. Let's see what the kids think. All right. Taste test. What do y'all think? Fun. <laughs> well, I've seen I your face. Like your face doesn't look like it's good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it? Uh. I like chicken chili. <laughs> I don't it's like good? it. You never like anything, boy. It's good? Yeah, I'm almost done. Good job. Aubrey, is it good? Tastes like chicken chili. Tastes like chicken chili? Mmm. And two bites and then I'll be done. Whoop, whoop. Overall, I think it's a really good recipe. I think I'm gonna double the cream cheese next time for sure, but I think it's really good. I love a good chicken chili, so definitely Mommy. would remake this one. All right, you guys, recipe number four. I believe we're on number four. This video is taking me so much longer to film, 
than I initially thought it would. But here we are. I think we're on meal number four. It's gonna be a slow cooker garlic Parmesan chicken stew. I thought this looked really good. I think this is gonna be a hit with the kids because they seem to like the creamier stews a bit better. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys what you're gonna need for this crock pot recipe. Here are all the ingredients you're going to need. It calls for one pound of potatoes. I'm gonna be doubling the recipe just to make sure I make enough and hopefully we'll have leftovers for tomorrow. So I'm gonna be using roughly about two pounds of potatoes. All I have left is five carrots. So I'm gonna be using these five carrots, one whole onion, we're gonna need some Parmesan, some heavy whipping cream, some cornstarch to help thicken it up, some minced garlic. I'm gonna be using my better than bouillon chicken for my broth. We're also gonna need some celery sticks. And then of course we're gonna need chicken. You guys know I love using frozen chicken. It's so simple and easy. You can throw it into your Instapot, to your crock pot, and it cooks up perfectly fine. You don't have to worry about thawing ahead of time. Of course you can if you want to, but, but just know that you can throw frozen chicken breast into a crock pot and it'll cook fine. It does add a little bit extra time, obviously, because it's frozen, but the chicken always turns out really soft and moist, just in case you guys, um, are afraid to try it definitely turns out really really good so we're gonna be using the chicken breast tenderloins y'all know i get this from sam's club and then the seasonings i'm going to be using is salt pepper some parsley flakes and then it called for thyme but i don't have any so instead i'm going to be using oregano because i really like the taste of that and i feel like it's a good substitute so that is everything we're going to need and this recipe is super simple like usual with most crock pot recipes, you just chop up your veggies, throw it all together, and we're gonna be cooking this on high just because I wanna make sure it gets done in time. So let's get started. I thought I would chat with y'all a little bit on this one because yesterday was Mother's Day. So I would love to know how was your Mother's Day? Did your family spoil you? Let me know Oops. <laughs> down in the comments what you guys did so my husband bought me this necklace i love it it's so pretty austin helped picked it out um just austin and him went to go shopping for it i actually took ethan and the girls and we went to the mall aubrey wanted to meet up with her friends and go shopping but of course i was not about to let her go shopping at the mall without me <laughs> so I let her shop around with her friends and I was just at the mall doing my own shopping, but we had a lot of fun. So we did that while my husband went Mother's Day shopping. And then on Mother's Day, I went and got a back rub, which was much needed. So it was really, really nice. We had a nice relaxing day. Aubrey's friends did stay over the night before and I did not think that through because the house was like a zoo on Mother's Day morning. I was like, okay, when is everybody going home? <laughs> because she had two friends stay over and it's not so much her friends that were crazy, it was my kids because they were so excited to just have people, you know, different people at the house that they were bouncing off the walls. <laughs> but definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys did for Mother's Day.
So now we have all our veggies and our chicken in here. So we're actually only gonna be adding our seasonings and our chicken broth. We're actually gonna wait to add the Parmesan, the cornstarch, and the heavy whipping cream until after we pull the chicken out, shred it, and add it back in. Then we're going to combine all of those things and add them. So we're gonna go ahead, add the seasonings and the chicken broth, and then we're gonna set it to high for about four to five hours. you guys it is much later I picked the kids up from school it's been cooking for about five hours the chicken is definitely done so I'm gonna go ahead pull it out we're gonna shred it and then we're gonna add in the last remaining a few things and it will be ready to eat What do y'all think about it? I haven't tried it. Oh, you haven't Love tried it? It's good? Oh, good. Ethan, do you like it? No. No? I'm gonna do a taste test for you guys. I know it smells so good. The house smelled amazing when we got home. Mm. That is really good. Y'all definitely need to try this out. It is really delicious. All right, we're ready for meal number five, which is gonna be a slow cooker Cajun chicken Alfredo, which sounds so delicious. It's not necessarily the most healthy, but I am almost positive the kids are gonna absolutely love it. So, so first I'm gonna show you guys, of course, what ingredients you're gonna need. And this recipe is gonna be like the last one where you add in a few things at the very end before you serve the meal. So let me show you guys real quick. So for today's meal, we're gonna need, of course, some chicken breast tenderloins I'm gonna be using. You can just use chicken breast. The recipe calls for like thawed out chicken and you sear it on the frying pan, but you guys look busy mom life. I ain't got time for that. So we're gonna do it a little bit different. We're gonna mix it up, but it's still gonna taste delicious. But if you guys want your chicken seared, follow the recipe. I will have it linked below, but I'm gonna be using frozen chicken breast. It also calls for some sausage. I'm using smoked sausage. Obviously the kids are gonna be eating this, so I'm not gonna make it super spicy. But of course, if you want more spice, maybe you get like some jalapeno sausage or something to add a little kick. We're also gonna need some chicken broth. It calls for four cups. So I'm gonna be using this better than bouillon in the chicken. For my Cajun seasoning, I'm using this Tony's. Mine is in spice and herbs. This is like not super, super spicy, so I think this is gonna be perfect to season the dish with. It also calls for panini uncooked. This is what we're gonna be adding about 30 minutes before it's time to serve. That way your noodles don't get super soft and smushy, so we won't add that until later. And same with the Parmesan cheese. We won't add that until the very end. So those two go in right before, like 30 minutes before you serve. And then you're also gonna need heavy whipping cream. It calls for three cups, which I might make a little bit more than one serving just to make sure you know we have enough. So I got a big thing of heavy whipping cream. I don't have any minced garlic left and I forgot to pick some up. So we're just gonna be using some garlic powder instead. Hey, Mom. 
What am I doing? Okay, I'll get you a towel. And that is everything you are gonna need for this recipe. So the first thing we're gonna do is add the chicken into the pot and then we're gonna cut the sausage up. It says to leave it in like one inch pieces. I'm gonna make mine a bit smaller just because I feel like the kids really love sausage and it seems like more if the pieces are smaller. So we're gonna go for smaller. Um, that's just my preference. And then we literally are just gonna throw everything in the pot minus the Parmesan cheese and the noodles. And we're gonna set it on high for roughly four hours and then that's it until 30 minutes before. One ingredient I forgot is butter. So I'm just gonna be using good old country crock butter. <laughs> back from dropping the kids off so we're gonna quickly add in the noodles and parmesan cheese that way it has about 30 minutes or so to cook I did go ahead and turn it down to low and I'm also gonna shred the chicken since I didn't sear my chicken I'm gonna shred mine up and plus the kids like shredded chicken better than like chunks of chicken so we're gonna do it that way It's good? Yeah. Oh good, it's finally big. something you love. <laughs> big. Oh, it's this big. This is so delicious. You guys definitely have to make this. It's so good. I know I'm gonna definitely be overeating this because it's so good. You love it? You tried the sausage, it's good? Ah. Uh, hot? Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. Yeah. Austin, what do you think about it? Good? Aubrey, you like it? Yeah. Adrian, what do you think? Ooh, good oh my gosh, you guys, that last recipe was seriously so delicious. Definitely try it out. Like I said, all of these recipes will be linked down below. And be sure to let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this type of video, if you'd like to see more of these, or maybe you have other ideas or video content that you would like me to do. Just let me know down in the comments. I am very open to suggestions and whatever you guys want to see from me, so let me know. But if you are new here and you're not subscribed yet, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I do upload tons of motherhood content every single Monday and Friday and would love to have you here. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like. It really does support my channel and share me with your friends to help me grow, you guys. It makes such a big difference when you guys like, comment, and share me so make sure you share me I really appreciate you guys and I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one bye